This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Let's talk a little bit about how you can control what your start screen looks like. You'll get a default, just the way Microsoft thought it would look great, but you're thinking, yeah, no, I don't really like things set up the way they're set up. So we can rearrange things, things we can resize things, we can actually even move entire groups around. So let's start by reviewing how to make things smaller. If you click on a tile, remember just a regular left click, it'll actually open it or activate it. I don't want to open it or activate it. I want to get some features for it. So I'm going to switch to a right mouse click. So when I right mouse click, now at the bottom, I have this new taskbar that opens. And on the bottom left side, it has some choices. So one of the choices is make it smaller. So I click and I make it smaller. So now my people tile is taking up half of the space it once took up. Well, let's do the same thing to messaging. Let's right click, go to the bottom, smaller. So now, oh, isn't that clever? Whoop, it said, well, I had a little space I could fit into. I'm just going to rearrange. So what happens is it rearranges automatically, or you can say, no, I don't really want that there. I don't use messaging all that much. I'm going to click hold, not let go, and I want to put that over here. But then I have one over here, this games. I'm over here to the next group. I want to bring this one, so I'll click drag, and I want to put it to the left. See how they're... They're so interactive. It lets you just do whatever you want. But I went over here to the left of people. I'll drop that off. And so now my games is in a new grouping. Now, when I say grouping, let me grab my mouse here and drag it around. This is one group, rather large group. This is a smaller group where it has trending here, much, much smaller group that's available. So maybe I want to drag messaging over here to this group. And I want to grab Internet Explorer and put it over here. So you see, you're able to just rearrange all you want to. And I think, well, you know, I want to bring messaging back, and I like it over here at the top, and I want to make it large again. So you simply right-click on messaging down here at the bottom. You have a larger, and ta-da, now it's taking up more space. And I want to do the same thing with SkyDrive. So I'm going to go over to the SkyDrive, switch to a right-click. Oh, look at this one. This one doesn't have the ability to make it larger. So what you're going to discover as you're working with your tiles is there are some tiles that you're not going to be able to adjust exactly the way you want to because they, are, they already are set the way that they need to be set. So we're not going to be able to adjust that one, but that's okay. All I have to do is hit escape, and what happens then is my taskbar at the bottom disappears or you could right click again on the tile and the taskbar at the bottom disappears. So let me put things back a little bit. I want to bring Internet Explorer back over here because I use it a lot. I'm going to bring SkyDrive up here because I like those two together. And now my tiles look a little bit more like I needed them to, but I'm not much of a games player at work, <laughs> right? So I'm going to drag games back over here because I want to set this up more for my work environment than my own personal pleasure environment. And I want to make people large again, so I'm going to right click on people and down here in the taskbar tell it to please be large. Okay, so now we have the ability to rearrange things when we don't like where they're located. We are able to right click to go down and resize when we want to resize, and we can know, you know that you can move between groups as well. One more thing that I want to talk to you about, I'm going to go ahead and go to mail here and right click on mail. And you have uninstall and you have unpin from start. If you unpin it from start, it's simply just not going to be visible for you any longer on the start bar. And then you can put it back in no problem. If you uninstall it, you actually remove it from this excuse me, I think I said start bar, but start screen. You actually remove it from the start screen. You can reinstall things if you want to, but most of the time what people want is they simply want to unpin it. They just don't want it to be visible any longer on the start screen. So just take note if you want to unpin or uninstall because those are two different tasks. And right now I don't want to do either one, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the mail tile, switch to a right click, 
Now I've no longer selected that tile, my tasks are gone at the bottom, and my screen now, my start screen, looks exactly like I want it to look. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.